understanding what you like first, what you want to do first. And if you're confused, because, you know, we're not going to all have it all together. Don't mess with nobody right now. How you confused on you and you're trying to give 100% of confused you to a relationship. <laughs> At the grocery store, my mother set it up. Oh, wow. My mom set it up. And uh, at that point in time, I was like, man, okay. I took the number, thought she was cute. I ain't really think too much of it, but I called a few days. My mother was like, I saw your little friend again today. At this point, this is my mother clearly letting me know she's setting the stamp. Go for this one. Um, and I called and was on the phone for an hour. I think once I discovered that I kind of always wanted to be around them. So that's when I was like, oh, maybe I like I like them because I'm home chilling and I keep wanting to go over there. Right. But it's like, nah, I'm not going over there. Yeah. But I really want to. Uh-huh. So that's when I knew that I was, you know, my like, my like my likeness yeah. was growing. So I just started going over there and I <laughs> I wouldn't come home, real life. Like I would it was like puppy love. Yeah. You know, that first phase where you go MIA mm-hmm. and I have never met MIA before. So wow. that was new to everybody. So but uh Yeah, <laughs> it was fun while it lasted. It was just lust and heavy infatuation. Mm-hmm. That's all it was. Right. Love is something I I'll fight for. Yeah. I wasn't in the I wasn't in the I wasn't in the realm of love. I had love for, but not in love. Like love wasn't like a, a barrier. Yeah. Which is why I was able to wash my hands clean so fast. You get what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, definitely was a, a lust and a heavy infatuation. That was the scheme of it all, especially when it came down to the year part. <laughs> that was like majority of the relationship at times. Kind of like a Max and Cal off living single type relationship. You know, when it was good, it was amazing. And it was filled with all of that. But then it was bad. It was, it was bad. I think it was the over the over being around each other. Like, you know how the puppy love phase is great, but then you start to be like, you feeling crowded. Y'all been on each other so much. And then the thoughts of, can I really trust you? Can you trust me? Like, do you have the same thoughts of me? Like, hmm, I could probably break up with them in another two weeks or so. Are you having them thoughts? Like, So it just started the I don't care or, you know, the the care of feelings starting to, you know, appear. So that was the icing beginning to happen. Not fully knowing them, rushing into it, into it, understanding who they are, who they hang around, who's they around. You know, you, get upset, you start to realize it's other aspects outside of this relationship that I wasn't privy to or paying attention in that arena yeah. then you know you kind of feel lost at times too like i felt like who am i yeah. are you what i'm saying yeah. i'm arguing with family over this person and friends over this person um i'm losing sleep um getting angry it's taking power and control over my day um i had to go I had to move on I think it's pretty simple. I think young us as young people have to do less loving and liking of other people and more learning of other people and ourselves. Uh, younger me, me now, oh, the conversations I would have loved to tell young me. It's just understanding what you like first, what you want to do first. And if you're confused, 
Because, you know, we're not going to all have it all together. Don't mess with nobody right now. How you confused on you and you're trying to give 100% of confused you to a relationship. And I know we it's the cliche, you know, how you going to go through high school, middle school, all that other stuff with nobody. I'm like, well, it's a lot of people that's really focused on themselves, like understanding who they are. And there's nothing wrong with that. I feel like you should mentally, spiritually, and fundamentally get aware of who you are. Um, I don't like nonsense. I don't like ignorance. Um, I don't like dumb questions anymore. I don't like leeches. I don't like beat around the bushers. I don't like liars. Uh, I don't like people who give the smoky mirror effect. You know, they're empowering today and cut you down tomorrow. And those are things that I've grown as an adult to know what I like. You get what I'm saying? And what I don't like. And um, if younger self would have started to pay attention. And the thing is that it's intuition. The intuition and the gut feelings were always there. I think those are your special powers from, from God that you can never replace. People... It's little stuff in us that makes us so magical that we don't pay attention to, like intuition and gut feeling. That's the God in you telling you either it's right, it's not right, or run. And sometimes we ignore that. And I, I've had all those intuitions and gut feelings about everything I described that I don't like, are the attributes that I saw in a lot of people. And in those younger phases, I felt that, like, oh, I don't like that. But I didn't go anywhere. I still gave confused me who was afraid to say, you know what I'm saying? I was the beat around the busher. I was that faker that, you know, I was what I didn't like. So I'm like, how do I give that to a relationship? Then that means whatever I'm getting is merit. So we got two confused people both giving alternate facts to each other. And then that progresses and we become two confused adults who don't who still giving alternate facts to each other and then by adulthood that's when you're really trying to find yourself yeah. and then y'all done been in love all this time or been together all this time and y'all are at the adulthood piece, place in your relationship and you guys are really finding out you guys don't like each other or you get what I'm saying that so that's what I say um, and I think, unfortunately, it also comes from how we're raised. A lot of us come from dysfunctional families and households, and we also come from those narratives of stay, stick it through, and all that. And sometimes we don't even mentally check in, like mentally check in on each other. Like mentally, where are you? What are your worries? What are your doubts? What are you most afraid of? What are you passionate about? What inspires you? Um, what's your take on money? on debt, on following a vision, goals, dreams. Um, do you live in color? That way you can see if you match that. You get what I'm saying? Because honestly, a relationship ultimately is a business. Um, I want to make business with somebody I fully care and trust about and are fully on the same path as me. There's no way I could be this much of a hard worker and not have an exact hard worker on the other side. Yeah. It's no bad. It got to be, yeah, we got to have a Jay-Z and Beyonce. Be Jay-Z and Beyonce can go on tour. They can, they, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They can make a whole album. They can go into business yeah. together. That's what it's supposed to be. You're supposed to be able to go into business yeah. with your loved one. Yeah. If you ain't going to make money with, who else would you make money with? Yeah. A loved one would be nice, right? Yeah, Get the, a constant bag. That's constant love and happiness. Keep, keep it in the family. <laughs>